Here we have uh, one list in Cognos report and inside of this uh, list we have two columns grouped. So column year is grouped and column quarter is uh, grouped. If we select whole uh, list, we can see that this uh, list is showing only 18 rows per page. So on one page we have only 80 rows and we have several pages. Now I will show you how to add some headers and footers to this list. First we have to select something inside of our uh, list. Then we go here to these three dots. We go to headers and footers. We go to list headers and footers and then we open this dialog. Here we will select list page header and overall header. When we click on OK, we would get these two headers. Now this uh, overall header is at the start of our list, but this list page header is at the start of every page. So on every page we have uh, this header. It is possible to change text in these uh, headers. For example, in list page header, we can go here to this uh, property text. We will click on these three dots and we can type anything here. I will just type this. I will click on OK. And we can see how we add some text in this uh, header. We can also do the same thing with overall. Now, because two columns are grouped in our list, for example, this column and this column, we can then add two more headers. We will go here to three uh, dots, headers and footers, list headers and footers. And in this dialog, we will turn on uh, ear header and quarter header. When I click on OK, we now have two more headers. Now we can also change what is uh, presented inside of these headers. For example, here we are showing data item value. That means that we are showing the value from some column and that column is this column here. Here we can change this, for example, to column quarter. And in that case, we would get uh, in this header values from this column. So that is possible. Then beside data item value, we can also uh, use data item label. If we use that, in that case, we would get a name of a column. For example, if we change this back to here, in that case, this would be the name of this column. And we can see uh, the same name here above. Uh, then we can again use a text option. If we click here on text, then we can type anything. For example, I can click here on three dots and I can type some word. When I click on OK, that word will be in our header. And at the end, we have one more option, and that option is report expression. If we use the report expression, then we can go here to three dots and we can type some expression. I will just type simplest expression, for example, two plus two. So when you click on OK, we will see our result inside of this header. Again, I will go here to three dots, to headers and footers, to list headers and footers, and in this dialog, I will show you that beside having uh, ability to add headers, we can also add footers and they are all the same. So there is nothing special to show about them. And now I will turn off all of these headers, except ear header. I will click on OK and I will change this option back to data item value. Uh, here at the top of our list, we have column names and we can see them at the start of each a page, but we can change their positions. If we select whole list, then we have access to this property, column titles. First option is at start of list, but we can also select start of details. If we select that, then names of columns will be below each header. So on one page, we can have uh, column names two times and there are more options. For example, we can select at start of first details on page. Now on current page, we have column names two times, but if we select this option, then we will have column names only once at the start at, of our page. And the last option is height. If we choose height, then there will be no column names. They will disappear. I will change this back to first option at start of list. Beside adding headers and footers to our list, we can also add headers and footers to our page. I will first select here body of our page. I will go here to three dots, headers and footers, and I will choose option 
page header and footer. I will open this dialog. Here we can see that our footer is already turned on, but I will turn on end header too. So when I click on OK, we will get our header here above. Now header is just the same as body of our page. We can add anything here. For example, if we click on plus, we can add a text item and we can type here something. For example, header area. When we click on OK, we can see how we can add elements to our header of page. We can now observe what will we get if we export our report to Excel. We should recall that if we select whole list, we can see here that we only have 18 rows per page. So if you export uh, this report with all of the headers that we used earlier, we would get something like this. We can notice that we have page header, we have page footer, we have all other kinds of headers, but we only see 18 rows on one page. Here we have 12 months and here below we have uh, 6 months more. All of the other months are on these other pages, for example here. Again we have uh, page header and footer or here. But if we go back and if we delete this property 18 so that nothing is uh, written here, in that case if we export our report we would get something like this. We would get only one long uh, list, only one uh, sheet and on this uh, sheet we would have page header and page footer only once.